A torque wrench is a tool used to precisely apply a specific torque to a fastener such as a nut or bolt. It is usually in the form of a socket wrench with special internal mechanisms. It was invented by Conrad Barr in 1918 while working for the New York City Water Department. It was designed to prevent over-tightening bolts on water main and steam pipe repairs underground. A torque wrench is used where the tightness of screws and bolts is crucial. It allows the operator to measure the torque applied to the fastener so it can be matched to the specifications for a particular application. This permits proper tension and loading of all parts. A torque wrench measures torque as a proxy for bolt tension. The technique suffers from inaccuracy due to inconsistent or uncalibrated friction between the fastener and its mating hole. Measuring bolt tension is more accurate but often torque is the only practical means of measurement. Torque screwdrivers and torque wrenches have similar purposes and mechanisms. Types equals Slipper type equals, unlike most torque wrenches. A slipper torque wrench will not over tighten the fastener by continuing to apply pressure slash rotation. Equals beam type equals. The simplest form of torque wrench consists of a long lever arm between the handle and the wrench head, made of a material which bends elastically in response to applied torque. The deflection at the handle is proportional to the applied torque and material constants of the cantilever arm. A second, Smaller bar with integral mechanical indicator is also connected to the head. This is never subjected to torque and thus maintains a constant position with respect to the head. When no torque is applied to the lever arm the indicator rests parallel to the lever arm. A calibrated scale is fitted to the handle so that applied torque, and the associated deflection scaled as torque of the main lever, causes the scale to move under the indicator. When the desired torque is reached, the operator stops applying force. This type of wrench is simple, inherently accurate, and inexpensive. The beam type torque wrench was developed in the late 1920s early 1930s by Walter Percy Chrysler for the Chrysler Corporation and a company known as Micromatic Home. Paul Allen Sturtevant a Euro a sales representative for the Cedar Rapids Engineering Company at the time a Euro was licensed by Chrysler to manufacture his invention. Sturtevant patented the torque wrench in 1938 and became the first individual to sell torque wrenches. A more sophisticated variation of the beam type torque wrench has a dial gauge indicator on its body that can be configured to give a visual indication, or electrical indication, or both when a preset torque is reached. Equals deflecting beam equals, the dual signal deflecting beam torque wrench was patented by the Australian Warren and Brown Company in 1948. It employs the principle of applying torque to a deflecting beam rather than a coil spring. This helps prolong wrench life, with a greater safety margin on maximum loading and provides more consistent and accurate readings throughout the range of each wrench. The operator can see and hear when a dual signal wrench reaches the selected torque, since the signal can be seen and heard. Equals click type equals. A more sophisticated method of pre-setting torque is with a calibrated clutch mechanism. The most common form uses a ball detent and spring, with the spring pre-loaded by an adjustable screw thread, calibrated in torque units. The ball detent transmits force until the preset torque is reached, at which point the force exerted by the spring is overcome and the ball clicks out of its socket. The advantage of this design is greater precision and a positive action at the set point. An important note is the wrench will not start slipping once the desired torque is reached, it will only send the click sound and bend slightly at the head, the user can continue to apply torque to the wrench without any additional action slash warnings from the wrench. For this reason, it is important to stop applying torque as soon as the wrench gives the click sound. Typical accuracy level would be plus slash 4% 10 RM and plus slash 6%.